And we're back for another exciting episode of In the Kitchen with Samantha and Doug. Thanks for being with us again. What we're going to be doing today, why don't you tell everybody what we're going to be doing this morning. That's right, we're making homemade pancakes. None of the uh, pre-made stuff here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started with a couple things. We do have a, uh, a big introduction though. We want to introduce the newest member of our cooking team. Uh, that would be Miss Emma over there. Unfortunately though, due to contract disputes between her and the producers, uh, she's not making an appearance on the show here for the next uh, probably 9 to 12 months. But kids and their money, what are you going to do? So what we're going to be starting out with here is we've got some special ingredients that we're going to be adding to the pancakes. We're going to be making both strawberry and cinnamon. So let's, uh, let's make those happen here. I think that's the first thing we're going to do. So, yeah, okay, that sounds good. So what we're going to do, we're going to want to take the uh, the cinnamon here, and we're just going to want to mix it up a little bit real good. See what I'm doing there? Can we see a real good... This is top secret recipe. Can you help me out there? Thank you. Okay. And then we're going to want to take our strawberries, and we're going to put them in the Easy Chop. Now, if you've been with us for all of our episodes, you remember the Easy Chop from our exciting... Chopped BLT episode where we chopped up some bacon in this fine device. <laughs> you want to give that a pull? Oh, strong. Okay. And what you've got is that. Now, once you've got your ingredients set, the next thing we're going to want to do is assemble our pancakes. The first thing you want to do with any good homemade, not from the box pancake is make sure you keep the box out of camera. And then also, we're going to want to, uh, I don't know, crack some eggs. Sound good to everybody else? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's crack some eggs. Hopefully, we won't have to use Terry G's recommendation of using the eggshell to get other shell out, but. <laughs> You never know what's going to happen here on uh, In the Kitchen With. I think we're shell free here. Halfway home. There's a hair on the bucket. Hang on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, uh, that's gross. <laughs> Alright, so we've got two eggs there, no shells, no hair. sure who put together the set this morning, but <laughs> I would imagine they have hair that's longer than mine, shorter than Sam's. Anybody, uh, anybody know that person? Shorter than Sam's? Well, longer than Sam's, whatever. Okay, so once you got your eggs, the next thing you want to do is add some milk. No, no, we're going to want to add some of our homemade, not bisquick, pancake batter. Now the important thing to note here is the amount of batter you're going to want to use. I like to use the right amount. Uh, how much do you use? What does the box say? Two cups. Yeah, we're going to want to get our cup out. It's this guy right here. And we're just going to pour some of this homemade batter that I made yesterday off camera and then just put it in this convenient Bisquick box. That looks like about a cup. Now you're going to want to be exact. Notice how exact I'm being. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> really comes out quick. Okay, two cups. Once you've got your batter in there, you're going to want to add the milk, and we're going to need to whip. Whip it real good. For those of you playing at home, make sure you finish all the catchy sentences we have. Okay, milk goes in, and we're whipping. Here we go. It's a nice texture. You see how that's coming together real nice right there? Mmm. Boy. Just the way mom used to make. But mom used Bisquick though, I think. I don't know. What's your mom do? Does that look okay? Is it too runny? I would say it's a little runny, yes. Might want to add a little bit more of Doug's special pancake. As someone who's made, never made, made lots of pancakes, lots of pancakes, you'd never know. Stop. This was. 
Just, just that right there. That's how much we want. Oh, look at that thicken up. Do we know what we're doing or what? Now, you'll notice there's some lumps in it. Everybody loves a good lumpy pancake. It's it's not not that big a deal. What do you think? Okay. Now, once you've got this set, we're going to want to turn our focus over to the uh, skillet. But while we're waiting for that to warm up, let's take a quick break and enjoy some of our beverage while we're waiting. Cheers. Two, three. Okay, and we're back, everybody. Now, while you were gone, we were cleaning up a couple of minor fire messes here. But the next thing we're going to want to do is take our batter here that we've been beating nicely, and we're going to put a little bit into this here jar. I'd say about that much. Yes. Yeah, right there. Uh -huh. That's right. You, you lost your milk on my foot. Okay. And we're going to want to add some of our special ingredients here. Now, Samantha is a big fan of strawberries. Why don't you tell everybody how much you love strawberries? A lot. We're going to take some of these strawberries, about that much right there. More. We're going to want to take a little bit more like that. Keep going. And we're going to just throw that in. We're going to get some more. Another spoon. We're going to add three spoonfuls. Yes. And we're going to mix that in. Get that nice and strawberry. This is a key step because if you don't want strawberry pancakes, skip this. If you do want strawberry pancakes, you're going to want to do exactly what I did. Three scoops of the mashed up strawberry. You could probably, hmm? probably, probably just put the whole thing in there because, you know, who cares? Okay, that's not mixed up just nicely. Next, we're going to drop your spoon. Take a knife, and we're going to want to prep our skillet with some butter. Now, I recommend a nice medium heat for your pancakes. Not too hot, not too cold. Too hot, you burn them. Too cold, you'll be here a long time. Uh, excuse me for just a moment. Where are you going? Stay focused. Right. You're going to want to just move the butter around. Let's take a real quick break while that butter gets going, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay. While you were gone, we're uh, waiting on the butter. What you want to do then is just uh, turn the music off. And move this around real nice to put butter under it. That will prevent sticking, and it also helps to crisp your pancakes. Uh, again, full disclosure, if Grandma is watching, I'm trying to crisp the pancakes here. What you'll want to do then is take your strawberry concoction, and you're going to want to nicely place it right onto the skillet. Just like this. Everybody, what I find helpful is if you make all the pancakes a different size. That way each one has its own unique identity and there's a potential that two pancakes could run into each other making one big pancake. It's very exciting. So, we've got that working. I'm going to clean off the stove. Samantha, you ready for some pancakes? You bet she is. Where are you going? Your pancakes are almost done. Now, as the pancakes are cooking, what you're going to want to look for is little bubbles coming up from the side that say, Hello, it's time to flip me. We don't have any bubbles yet. Also, if you're just joining us and you're wondering, gee, dog, why are those pancakes strawberry? We're making special Samantha strawberry pancakes this morning. You can make your own flavors at home. Other flavors that you might want to try, pumpkin, very popular in the fall this time of year. At that time of year. Don't laugh at me. And um, some people like chocolate chip or M&M. &M. That's getting a little, a little crazy for me. Uh, my assistant has clearly become bored with the process. I don't blame her. So now you're noticing there's some bubbles around here. Uh, the camera work, I, I'd give it a minor. 
Uh, looks like our two assistants are getting together, so excuse me. Okay, gotta let her sleep. Here, give her a Got her over there. There we go. Okay. Now, while we were gone, the pancakes started to burn. I'd say these look like they're not quite ready to flip yet. Boom. Heal. Okay, do we have some Cheerios? Distract! Distract!